All right, everybody, welcome to Rana's Radar. Now, I've been lucky enough to see Chris Jacobs here from Overhauling. Chris, thank you so much for doing this with me. My pleasure. How are you liking Emerald Coast Cruising? Oh, it's great. It's my first year at this show. Um, you know, car shows feel a lot like family reunions. You know, see some people yeah. that you've seen before. Everybody who you're meeting for the first time seems like an old friend, and it's all kind of based on the love of the car. That's why we're 100%. all here. And that's why I love coming back here to this show, to any show around America, because it's that environment. We'll go around this way. Sure. Just away from that music. It's the environment, the family atmosphere. So guys. And the friendly people. And yep. you have such a crowd around here. You've <laughs> been nonstop. Yeah. Meet and greets. Everybody wants to take pictures. Yeah. It's absolutely awesome. Overhauling, of course. Yep. Great show. Thank you. Great show. Now, I know you from Long Lost Family. Right. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's <laughs> Can we that's, just put it out there? <laughs> <laughs> that's the other kind of prong to my career. I'm very proud of that show. We had a lot of fun making that 100%. show. Very near and dear to me, my heart, obviously. That's my story. I'm, I'm an adoptee, and I reconnected with my birth family in my 20s and have a great relationship with them now. So it's been very nice to be able to help other people out in that regard. I absolutely love that. Yeah. And you know, with overhauling and the things that you do on that show, it, uh, for me, when I see it, it relates to long lost. Yeah. Family. You know, Can there are it? there are a lot of parallels because you know there's a there's a separation in overhauling, which is you know the person being separated from their car. Yeah. And then there's a search, and then there's a reunion. So yeah, I've actually made that point myself about the two shows are are very similar in different kind of genres. Different genres, but still very sentimental. Yes. Still very sentimental. Yeah. Now, something with Rana's Radar on my channel is I recognized the value of cars and the bond that people have with these cars. Now, you've got a show like Overhaul, and, you know, um, I hope it, it continued, you know. Um, but well, you never know. Chip and I are still around, so maybe it'll come back for the fourth time. Cause they, I hope so. They've canceled us uh, three times now, and we came back twice, and so maybe we'll come back a third time. I hope so, because my viewers are loving this about me going around and filming the car shows and getting involved with the people and seeing that value between the car and the owner. Yep. Now, I show like overhaul and now, okay, you've got families who get involved and they take the victim or the owner's car. Right. Yeah, the mark, as the we mark, call them. The mark, that's it. <laughs> Taking their car away and then obviously just absolutely um, restoring it, custom not customizing it, but just fixing sometimes, it Sometimes, sometimes customizing it. You know, it, it really depends on what the our insider, who is the, either the friend or the family member who is helping us out, tells us that the owner of the car would want done to it in their dream. So we, yeah. we really try to build the car suited for the person who owns it. Nice. Um, and you know, it all comes from the genius of Chip Foose and the, and the expertise of the A-Team. Yeah, well then. Yeah they do amazing work and the whole concept behind it I absolutely love it and I think that's why they got you involved yeah because they can see that I mean for me you can just bring that sentimental value to a show on the screen and it's so genuine and it's so real with the emotions as well everybody so <laughs> absolutely loved it and I'm so happy that I met you here well now, thank you how when did you get involved with cars where does your passion come from you know I mean it's it's kind of been lifelong my dad and my brothers always had cool cars when I was driving up my dad when I was growing up my uh, my dad was a Porsche guy he always had 911s so actually I bought my nine, my 911 back in 2005 uh, as kind of a, a tribute to my dad nice um, my brother Zach had a 66 GTO convertible and my brother Clay had a, a Trans Am, so um, <laughs> it, it was always in my blood. I really didn't yeah. become a car guy until overhauling started okay. back in 2003. But, um, but you can't stop now. We can't stop now. You can't stop I'm now. I'm in too deep. <laughs> Chris, I saw the rental you've got, so you're in way too deep now. Oh, yeah, totally. By the way, that's not a rental. That is a friend of mine. He owns that car. So, well, Reed uh, was telling me otherwise, yeah, so I, thought, I believe I thought, whatever people tell me, you know, I'm very gullible. <laughs> I, I've, I've let the cat out of the bag, apparently. No, but we, we, we pulled up in a Dodge Demon 2018, of yep. course, and uh, it, it's, you know, it's an amazing car. I have a red eye, which is just oh, one nice. step down, nice. same color, destroyer gray, so yep. we thought it was kind of the perfect car to show up at the show. In. They're like the grandfathers of my Charger, that's how I like to see it. Like yeah. in this day and age, a modern day Charger is still, you know, yep. nothing compared to yep. the red eyes yep. and stuff. But it's been absolutely awesome. I appreciate this. I know you're very busy and you've got a lot of people coming up and seeing you. So yeah. thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.